let's go to your stock picks today, gents. Mark, we already know what yours is. Stadio, state your case. <laughs> yes, I'm picking Stadio tonight. I think they had a really nice result today, earnings up 23%. Uh, student numbers growing 10% to 46,000 students. I think that they've really delivered on, on the longer term um, story that they've been talking about. They are on track to beat their uh, forecast of 56,000 learners by 2026. And I think that there's still a lot of runway left in this business. Um, the next kind of target is 100,000 students and they want to have 80% distance learners and 20% contact learners. And I think that the earnings can continue to grow at above 20% for, for at least the next five years. And in South Africa, we don't have a lot of good growth stories out there. I think this is one. And um, yeah, I think it will just continue to deliver. So I'm a buyer of Stadio. Uh, before we go to Nick, are you not bothered by the, the, the pressure that we have seen on the, the share price? Or are you just thinking about it as just an opportunity to get into the stock, Mark? Yeah, the share price um, underperformance today was... It was surprising because there weren't uh, good numbers. Um, we have seen a, quite a few. Well, we saw a number of other small cap stocks come under pressure today. So perhaps, you know, there was a there was a, a theme uh, that was playing out today. It didn't look like it was stock specific to to Stadio. Um, yeah, so I would I would use this as a buying opportunity. Um, I can't see anything in the near term to to derail their progress. Yeah. I think it's a good opportunity. Uh, all right. Where are you seeing opportunity today, Nick? In China. <laughs> That's uh, the easy, quick answer. Uh, my uh, stock pick for this evening is Tencent. Um, obviously, we get a lot of investment here from a process Nuspers kind of exposure. And I think we certainly know the, the troubles, um, both from a macro kind of perspective, uh, as well as from a geopolitical perspective uh, and regulatory perspective that uh, Chinese stocks in general have faced. Uh, and Tencent certainly almost started that off. Um, however, I think operationally, these results should be pretty, pretty good, pretty stellar kind of results. And, and uh, I'm hoping with this uh, very mute valuation where we find ourselves at the moment, that eventually the market starts looking through this and starts saying, you know what, even in these sort of tough environments, look at the performance that's actually been generated. Look at the cash flow generated within the stock, uh, the share buybacks that will kind of continue again. Um, you know, now that they've sort of faced a, or closed, you know, post their closed kind of period. Uh, and I think there's probably and arguably a, a lot of momentum uh, for a stock like that. Uh, so, yeah, it'll, I think, manifest itself through Tencent. Uh, but ultimately, any South African holder of process and Nuspers will be a beneficiary as well. So I think there's good opportunity there at the moment. Ah, all right. Well, thank you so much for your time and for your analysis today, gents. Really appreciate it. That is all for tonight's Stock Watch. Thanks to our guest, Mark Detoy from Oyster Catcher Investments and Nick Krell from FNB Wealth and Investments. Up next, the close. Stay watching. <laughs>